Hi, Tina Reale here. We're going to work today on strengthening the outer hips. In yoga, we often stretch the outer hips with poses like pigeon pose and double pigeon, gamukhasana, all types of poses to stretch and open the hips, especially that outer hip region. But a lot of times we can be tight there because those muscles are underworked and imbalanced. So today we're going to take a look at strengthening those small muscles of the outer hips, the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, and work those to create balance in our body and have strength and flexibility. Let's begin by lying on your left side, propping up on the left elbow, extending the legs out long, either long out directly to the side or to 90 degrees. I'm gonna go about 45 degrees. The more closer to 90 degrees you are, the harder it is to, um, work the hips. It's more challenging the more direct your legs come in line. Lift your right leg about six inches or so up off the left foot. Feel the activation of that outer hip already. And we're going to work small pulses lifting up using that outer hip. Just small pulses. That's five. And continue to breathe and stay engaged. Keep the core engaged as well. That's 10. And we'll do five more. 13, 14, 15. Holding here, let's move to make tiny circles. Circling the foot forward and down and back. Forward, down, back. That's three, four. You should start to feel a little bit of heat into that hip now. Five. We'll take 15 circles here. About halfway there. Keep the feet flexed. Keep drawing the belly, lifting through the chest. That's 10. Five more. 11. 12. 13. 14. And 15. And you know yoga is all about balance, so let's go the other direction now. Drawing the foot back, down, forward, and up. Back, down, forward, and up. Really feeling that outer hip activate now. You continue breathing into it. And the more you work on stretching the area, the harder this is going to feel. About halfway there. And then we'll get a little bit of a break before moving into our next exercise. Five more, keep smiling, knowing that you're doing good for your body. And one final one. Relax the foot down, maybe rub out that hip a little bit, and bend the knees. Now having the knees out at a 45 degree angle, and the ankles about 45 degrees bent back from the knees. Bring the ankles up off the mat, knees stay on the mat. Lift your top leg, taking a clamshell here, and then lower it down. Lifting two, lowering down, not all the way down, just almost touching. Four, five, feeling that outer hip squeeze and lift, set up the six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, five more. Use that yoga breath, the deep breaths, to help as you really work into these places that we often ignore. And one. Bring the leg up and let's take 15 pulses halfway down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Release it down, push your way up. Bring your left leg in front, right leg comes behind, sitting kind of in a little bit of a pretzel situation. So your shin is facing the long edge of the mat, knee bent, and then the other leg bent out 45 degrees, and the ankle coming straight back in line with the knee. Place your hands down, you might need to hinge slightly forward so you can, you can lift that right leg slightly up. Lift it up, extend it back through the toes, bring it back, 
set it down. Lift up, extend back slightly, bring it back forward, set it down. Lifting three, and back down. Lifting four, engage that glute to send it back. Five, and setting it down. Six, this one will really get you. Seven, three more, eight, and down, nine, and ten. Ten will be good with that one. Now we'll lift up, extend the leg, and we'll pulse for 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Squeeze in here. Five. Two and one. Ha. Come to all fours. Shoulders under or shoulders over wrist. Knees under hips. Extend the right leg back and lift it up. Cross it over, tapping down, crossing across the other leg and extending back up. Crossing down, extending, using the outer hip to help pull that leg back up. Dropping down for three, four. Aiming to keep the hips square to the mat. Really using the hamstring, outer hip, outer glute to lift. That's seven, eight. Five more. Drawing in the belly to support the spine. Staying long through the neck. And last one. Holding it up here. Extending up for 15 pulses. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Toes turn slightly out to get more of the side of the hip. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Releasing down. Now, all on the other side. Turning over to lay onto the right side of the body, propping up on the elbow, balancing with the hand in front of the stomach, and extending the legs out, flexing through the feet. Getting hip stacked on hip, knee on knee, ankle on ankle, taking the same degree here as you did on your other side. That balance that we talked about. Lift the foot up about six inches or so, and begin lifting it another six inches. Not tapping all the way down. And that's five. Really squeezing, feeling that outer hip muscle work. That's 10, I believe. And one more. Now let's take those circles, bringing the foot forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Three, four. Keep drawing in that belly. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Six. You feeling that yet? I know I am. Eight. Nine. Ten. Only five more. And then we reverse it. Three. Two. And one. Going the opposite direction. Coming back, up, forward, and down. Back, up, forward, and down. Those small circles. Really using the muscles that we neglect. Sitting a lot, those muscles get tight, but weak. We want to find that balance so they can be strong and more open with our yoga. I believe that's 10, so five more. Forgive me if I'm adding in an extra one or two there. And last one. Release the foot down, rub it out, 
and bend the knees, coming into that clamshell. Resetting up if you feel like you're starting to sag into the chest, into the shoulders. Bending the knees 45 degrees, ankles 45 degrees behind knees. Lift the ankles up, and then let's lift up the knee. Going one, two, three, four, five, six. Continuing those deep, full breaths. That's 12, 13, and you might feel one side struggling a little bit more than the other. Last one. Now bring the knee up and those 15 halfway down pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Release the legs down, push your way up. Bringing right leg in front, left knee bent behind. Setting up shin parallel to the top of the mat. Might need to use some blankets or support. Turning slightly towards that bent knee, bending slightly forward to lift that back hip up. And then send the toes slightly back, bring it back forward, set it down. Lifting up, extending back, forward and down. This is three. And coming back, four. Make sure you're feeling it where you're supposed to be feeling it. Not up here, too much in the waist, not sagging, really staying lifted in the chest and using the strength of your outer hip. Two more. And one more. Let's extend the toes back slightly. Lifting up and pulse, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. You can do this. Keep telling yourself you can. Five, three, and one. Releasing it down, coming onto all fours, finishing out with our left leg, extending back, lifting up, and then dropping it down, crossing it over the other leg, using that outer hip to extend it back up, outer hip and hamstring. This is two, and three, four, noting which side feels stronger with these motions, and keeping that in mind as you go into your yoga practice as well and as you take those poses like pigeon or gomukhasana cow face. Five more. And one. Let's hold it up for those 15 pulses. 15, 14, 13, Turning the toes slightly out, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Releasing it down, and you've completed your outer hip work to really strengthen that area and bring a little bit of balance. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my blog, www.tinareale.com. Find more yoga tips, proper alignment for poses, videos, and more. Thanks for watching.